Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super, super excited about today's recipe because it's one that has been definitely tried and tested and has been shown to work 100%. This will help you guys to stop hair fall and also to help you regrow hair in areas in which you happen to have lost hair. Now you guys know that as of recently, I went through postnatal shedding and I did lose quite a bit of my edges and also my overall hair thickness because my hair just kept on falling out. Honestly, like I would come through, so much hair would be falling, it's crazy. But obviously it has stopped now. It's been, I would say maybe two to three weeks since it stopped excessively shedding, um, which is great. So I am trying to kind of regrow my edges and also to regrow, you know, to get my hair to the thickness that it used to be, if that kind of makes sense. And I have been using this and trust me, it is the bomb. Like honestly, you will definitely see results if you try this recipe and that's why i suggest you watch till the end of the video because i will tell you exactly how to use it to see amazing results so let's start um let's get right into it so to begin with you're going to need one whole onion so whether it's a red onion or white onion use whatever you have um available in your kitchen onion helps to nourish your hair and prevent hair fall it also has antibacterial and antifungal properties which can help to prevent scalp infection and down trough now massaging onion to your scalp can help to improve circulation and lead to healthy hair growth so cut up your onion into smaller pieces so that it's easier to blend later on because that's what we're going to do so you want to cut it up and then we're going to place it in a little bowl and then we're going with our next ingredient Now, after transferring that to that bowl, guys, we're going in next with some ginger. Ginger, oh my God, do not sleep on ginger, guys. Honestly, this thing is amazing for hair. Honestly, it's, it's so good. Don't sleep on it. If you have been sitting on the fence, should I try this, should I not? Trust me, try ginger on your hair. You will definitely love it. Ginger, again, helps to improve blood circulation on the scalp, reach out to stimulate it has follicles, which in turn promotes healthy hair growth. It also has a lot of vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids, and this helps to strengthen your hair strands so that it does not fall out, guys. Honestly, so it doesn't fall out. And ginger also helps to restore moisture in your hair. So cut it into smaller pieces. Just like I can notice, I did not remove the skin, so leave the skin in it because it's still got some amazing vitamins and minerals that you want to um, benefit from. So next, we're going in here with some aloe vera. I had this sitting in my fridge already, so I just got it out. Um, but then I'm also gonna go in with some more aloe vera. So this is what it looks like, if in case you're seeing it for the first time. So remove the sharp edges, cut in the middle, and then we're going to remove the gel. You can wash your aloe vera or you can soak it for a little bit if you want just to remove you know some impurities but honestly i've used it for so long that my skin doesn't itch like it doesn't doesn't react to this anymore um so but yeah if you're sensitive to it please make sure you soak it first before um before you use it so aloe vera we already you know has great benefits again when it comes to like scalp health and also helping to stimulate hair growth, also providing your hair with moisture, preventing UV damage. Like, honestly, it's got some great, great benefits. And if you guys have been working with me for a while now, you will know that this is actually one of my favorite um, ingredients that I love to use in my DIYs. And I've used it for so long, like I said earlier, that I just know it works like 100%. Honestly, it is just good like that. So cut your aloe vera again, put the whole thing together and give it a good blend until you have a somewhat nice and kind of smooth consistency. Obviously the ginger is not going to blend like properly, properly like that, but blend it as much as you possibly can. Now we're going to go ahead and sieve it. So use a recap for this or whatever you have available. Go ahead and give it a nice squeeze to get all of the juice out. 
and you can get rid of the pop or if you know what other things you can do with this pop guys please let me know so that next time I know not to throw it away but yeah I went ahead and disposed of mine And here you have it like literally just as simple as this but it is amazing on the hair honestly it is so good um, so we're just going to transfer this into an applicator bottle so that sorry not an applicator now it's spray bottle so that it's easier to use and um, also you can store this in your fridge for up to two weeks if you want to or like I always say guys make batches freeze them defrost and use as in when it's needed it saves you so much time honestly sometimes you make these DIYs that used to happen to me before and I'll just forget about it and then before I know it it's gone off and then I have to make it again but I noticed that if you just freeze it saves you having to get the I mean the same ingredients twice and spend more money so yeah just 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 freeze them okay so now on to how to use it um, so the way that I've been using this guys is basically um, spraying it on my scalp okay so if you've got like you know bald spots or thin edges or just you know hair that you're just trying to grow if you're just trying to get your hair to grow or sort of give you that thickness and all of that goodness you want to go ahead and apply it to your scalp because that's where our hair grows out from but also don't forget the rest of the hair so apply throughout the length of your hair as well because that will also help to strengthen that hair so that it's not going to fall out just like I said before. So spray it there. Can you see my edges are actually starting to fill up a little bit now. It's looking so much better than what it did um, a few weeks ago. Obviously we're not quite there yet but when I'm happy with the final result I will definitely make a video and show you guys what my hair used to look like and what it looks like now essentially and you will definitely notice a huge difference and I'm already seeing changes um, but just bear in mind you need to be consistent with this guys you have to be consistent to be able to see results don't think you're gonna use it once and your hair will magically just fill up straight away um, so you have to be pretty consistent now notice here the one thing i've got to say as i'm applying this to my hair guys you can notice i'm being very careful not to get this in my eyes because if it gets in your eyes it's gonna sting and you're not gonna like it so please just be careful as you're working with this um on your hair for you not to get in your eyes so make sure that your hair is properly saturated with this um, including your scalp as well just like I said earlier don't forget your ends is the oldest the driest part of our hair and the part that's most likely to fall out that's always the part that breaks anyways in most cases and if your hair is constantly breaking guys you will not see any length retention over time so it's important you do take care of your ends now notice here I'm going in and I'm massaging my scalp now don't underrate the importance of scalp massages i always talk about this guys honestly it does work you need to massage the scalp because that just helps to improve the blood flow and you know bring more oxygen to your follicles more nutrients that you're putting into your body to your scalp and that can also help with you know uh, growing healthy hair in that area so after i finish massaging I, I just twisted that section and i'm going to move on to the next section repeat until the rest of my hair is done now after i've applied this throughout my hair i'm going to put a bag on or a plastic bag on my hair so that you know heat can really get in there and and do its thing and i'm going to go ahead and wash this off my hair with shampoo now you don't necessarily have to use shampoo if it's something that you're going to repeat let's say twice a week or let's say once every week because you don't want to be shampooing your hair every week so if it's not a wash day for you just rinse it off with warm water and just go and just use like a nice scented leave-in conditioner or an oil that can help you mask the smell of the onion and trust me you will definitely see results if you're consistent with this so this is what my hair looks like after I finished shampooing it and I was really happy with the thickness of it and overall anyways. So this brings me to the end of the video. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you did, please, please thumbs up the video. Also, don't forget to share it. Share it with that friend, that family member you believe could benefit from the video. And also, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.